So I want to welcome Rachel. She is in Israel. You contacted me um, via email. Thank you for having me here and for giving me this opportunity to, to share my experience. Uh, so um, tell me, tell us uh, a little bit about what your anxiety was like prior to listening to the Anxiety Solution Series. I've been suffering from anxiety and panic attacks basically my whole life. My greatest fear was the uh, having a panic attack. Um, I was afraid of the physical symptoms of panic attacks. That was like really my greatest fear. And what kind of physical symptoms did you have? Right. So it would always start with nausea, with like feeling that I had to throw up. And it took me a while to understand that it was a panic attack. In the beginning, I used to think that it had something to do with my stomach, maybe something that I ate. So what other symptoms follow the nausea? After the nausea, I would start shaking, um, sweating. My heart was pounding. I felt that I couldn't breathe. Uh, a sense of like going to die, even though I knew that I wasn't going to die, but the feeling Terrifying. was terrifying and and like feeling that I was about to pass out <clears throat> and really my my limbs were shaking my my legs and my arms were shaking I couldn't control it did you and worry last, about passing out did you fear passing out yes I did I, I I never really passed out most people that have panic attacks are fearful of them and limit their the places they go or the things they do did the fear of panic attacks impact your behavior? Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, so I limited a lot, you know, doing things that I actually like. So were, I you afraid, were you fearful of driving places or going places where you couldn't get out quickly? Yes, absolutely. I just was afraid of leaving the house. I was not able to leave the house, certainly not by myself. So... You listen to the Anxiety Solution series and um, tell us, you know, how you're doing now. I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really great. I'm feeling, I feel safe. I feel like I have what I need to cope with whatever comes to me at any time. Because my greatest fear was that of feeling the physical symptoms of attack and anxiety. And I discovered the, the three by three breathing that calms my body instantly, instantly. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I feel something coming up, like some tension in my stomach, I don't even wait for it to become, you know, bad to feel not. I don't wait. I start right away wherever I am. And mm -hmm. when I say where, wherever I am, I mean, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. And that includes, for example, I volunteer uh, at the police patrol uh, here in Israel. And so sometimes, you know, there are some tense situations. I do that while I'm in the, in the police car, while I'm in front of, like whenever really it's possible to do that. And it's like something coming into me and calming my whole body instantly. Very simple, very basic. I, I was shocked at like understanding how such a basic thing can help so much. That must give you a lot of confidence to go places and do things. And are you as worried about having a panic attack? No, I, I'm not as worried as I was. And it helps really most of the times. Before I knew that three by three breathing would help to wear pills, like I would take Xanax or whatever. That was my my uh, safety insurance, let's say I would, you know, have it in my bag and use it whenever necessary. But I wasn't happy about that solution because I didn't want to. And, you know, it creates dependency and blah, 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 whatever. And now for me, the three by three breathing is my pill. Oh, so instead of taking Xanax, now you do three by three relaxation breathing. Yes. Yes. Okay. And have you had any panic attacks recently? Since since, no, no, I have not. The techniques that I use, so one is the three by three breathing and also, you know, all the more um, thought related uh, techniques. I've never had so far a situation where I tried to use them and it didn't work. 
So it always worked. And even if it doesn't work, I know that it's going to be okay. I, I'm less worried. And most of all, I don't really pay attention to them. I don't deal with them because... In other I, words, you'll was, have a thought and you won't take it seriously. You won't pay attention to it like you used to. Yes. I would say to myself, okay, it's true. Maybe it could happen. There is a maybe 1% chance that it would happen, but it doesn't make sense to give so much thought and importance to something that most likely will not happen. Before the series, I was not able to rationalize. I would just focus on the catastrophe because that was the thing that I was most afraid of. But now I'm able to rationalize and put things in proportion. One of the things that are very hard to cope with for people who suffer from, from anxiety is this is a sense of loneliness, of feeling I'm alone in this. You know, I'm the only one in the world suffering from it. People don't understand. And it's not true. So one thing that I liked a lot about the series is hearing interviews with other people who suffer from panic attacks or anxiety, how they described uh, what they felt and, and how they cope with it and how it changed after hearing the series. It was absolutely inspiring, incredible, and... And I felt the same. So I know that it's true. Else in particular that you appreciated, that you liked about the program? Because it's yes. very full. It's 12 hours. It is. And, and I devoured the 12 hours within just a few days. It, it didn't feel long because it's not listening to someone talking for 12 hours. It's, it alternates um, you know, interviews with explanations, with different luckless people or lecturers or doctors talking there is music there is by the way I liked a lot of this you know music that you have in the beginning and mm. at the end of every session you know it, make, it makes me feel good you know it makes like a good association good. and so yeah. I was always looking forward to the next chapter and I also think that the fact that the chapters are very short like 15 minutes maximum 20 minutes is always a good thing because it doesn't feel long. I liked a lot the irony, you know, the fun about it, the, the funny part, the, for example, um, trying to personalize fear, you know, to make it concrete and to encourage every person to create their own personalization of their fear and to to talk to it, you know, and to tell it what to do and what not to do. Uh, it makes us feel a bit stupid, but in a funny way, in a good way. And all of a sudden we realize, you know, th th that's so funny, actually. Why am I so afraid of it? So have you been to therapists before? Have you been on medication before? Yes, yes, I have. I, uh, I've been to many therapists who have, some of them have not helped at all. Some of them have. But again, it's occasional. It doesn't stay with me. And every time I, you know, I, I, I suffer again from anxiety or from panic, panic attacks, I feel that I have to go back. I have to go back to therapy. I have to sort of start all over again. I don't have my own tools to deal with it. So I feel dependent. Uh, whereas the anxiety solution is my tool to deal with it. I've, I always have it with me. And so I, I don't feel the dependency. And you can go back and listen to chapters that were helpful. Is that what you've done? Yes. Yes. Which I do. Yes. Which I do. Absolutely. You know, it's, I have it in my phone. It's like a treasure for me. The series is very well structured and it covers all aspects of anxiety. It, it's also an explanation. It's a kind of, you know, it, a lecture almost. It explains to you what it is, what's happening to you, why it's happening to you, what happens in your body. These are all things that very often, you know, when you have sessions with a therapist, don't come up. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy that the Anxiety Solution Series was helpful. I created it many, many years ago. I actually started 
with one disc. My goal was just to do one disc, but there was so much material, I had to do two discs. Two discs led to three discs, and by the end, there was nine discs. So it's very comprehensive, and I'm so happy that it's helped you and many, many other people. So I really appreciate you sharing your thoughts and your experience. I I want to thank you for dedicating so much time to such an important thing. You know, in Hebrew, it's called shlichut. It's a it's a word that actually means someone who makes it almost a, a personal mission to help other people to do something good for the world. And I feel that this is. This is what you're doing, even though I know it's your business and people pay for it and it's and it's okay. But you decided to dedicate your life to helping people. And I think this is the greatest thing a person can do in this world. Oh, that's very so thank sweet. You. Really sweet. Thank you so much.